Today is the day that I finally get to marry my best friend. From the first day I met you, I knew that you would be a big part of my life. I knew that there was something special about you, and I am so excited to get to spend the rest of my life with you. Here is Darren's vows. Here's this beautiful gift that he gave you. And his one last message for you was, he's so excited <laughs> and he's just ready to move on with this day and take care of everything, set it in stone. He's excited and that he loves you very much. From the first day I met you, I knew my whole life would be changed. You were placed in my path for a reason, and at the time I wasn't really sure what that feeling was. As the same time went from, as time went on, my feelings for you grew stronger and deeper. Anytime I walked into a room, your smile was the first thing I saw, and it still is. Your personality is something so genuine and so pure, and you exceed all my expectations that I could ever want in a life partner. Milana, the day has finally come. The day where I get to make one of the best and easiest decisions of my life. A decision to marry my most truest and closest friend. I used to never really truly enjoy the moments because I always waited for the next the next thing to happen and kind of living life in the fast forward. But now that I have you, I finally get to enjoy the moment, every moment. You've always been there for me and you always know how to make me feel better. I promise to be fully committed to you as a wife, to do all that I can make your life a little easier and to be there to help you see the good on the days that seem hard. I promise to support all your decisions and trust that you will do what is best for us as a couple. Today I want to make the promise to you that I will always keep Milana promise to grow alongside you but also never grow up. I promise to take care of her and protect you. I promise to be your navigator, your best friend, and your partner for life every step of the way. Thank you for not ever giving up on me, even though giving up seemed easier. Thank you for pushing through the long nights spent awake and talking about all of the things we have to have and the goals that we want to reach. Just a little bit of cheek. Just a little cheek. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Make it all make it all right. I got snooze. Not only do I love you, love you as you are, but I love the person I am when I am with you. People have told me that marriage is hard. You have also told me to not listen to what others say. Not every day will be easy. I understand that, but together we have accomplished so many amazing things. We have overcome so many obstacles, and time and time again, we always seem to find our way back to each other. Love, Shiv. I love you till the end. It was a beautiful wash you got. The first time we met was kind of just a crazy time. I mean, we were at the fair, and I've always seen her around school and stuff, and she always just seemed like somebody that would be pretty great to be with, and uh, our friends kind of put us together and left us alone, and I had to walk into her camper, and I just kind of knew ever since then that it would just be a good, a good moment and a good life to be with her. the first date we went on and that was to Albion and <laughs> at first it started off like kind of rough we had to take my brothers with me and it was just 
I really enjoyed it. I think he was kind of nervous during the whole thing, but it was really fun and like that's one thing that I always think back to and like it was just like when I realized that like this kid really makes me happy and I really do appreciate him and everything that he does and started out rough we forgot a bunch of stuff we didn't tie the kayaks down and it was just like a rough start and then right when he sat down again in his kayak he ripped his shorts like all the way up <laughs> it was it, we still had fun so that's what mattered but it was just like all over but in the end it was really good <laughs> My favorite thing about Milana is she's so courageous and willing to accept like any challenges in life and no matter what she'll always she'll always pull through with it. If it seems hard, she'll always do it. She'll never give up until she gets it done. She's always she just does it. I mean, she's great. Any anything I ever have her try, she's scared to do it and she's willing to do it. And she trusts me, so it's awesome. Something that I really admire about him is he always pulls me out of my comfort zone and he always like helps me to feel like comfortable with anything we do and he's just always there for me and like he understands that I have limits but he likes to push them and so I really appreciate him for getting me out of my comfort zone and like making me do things that I necessarily wouldn't do on my own and I just really appreciate it. <laughs> There was a time that um, the weather was starting to start to be kind of crappy and I still wanted to go camping that year. This was last year. And uh, she had just got her wisdom teeth taken out that week and I talked her into going camping with me. And we went camping and she dealt with it with the pain. That just kind of shows that she's willing to do anything with me and not give up and just kind of fight through the pain and we'll do it all together. So, yeah. Everybody please rise for the bride. So when we were in middle school, we tried to start a band. <laughs> Some of you remember. Um, we would go to my dad's recording studio without any of the equipment turned on because he refused to do that, obviously. And we would sing and write songs. And they were horrible songs. We just stole the lyrics from other songs that were popular at the time. And we thought we were really doing something great. We weren't. <laughs> and we would use my old and video it, kind of get it a little bit closer. Um, anyway, 
that camera, so I wish I would have had it. I would have made a slideshow for you. Garen, do you take Milana to be your wife? I do. Milana, do you take Garen to be your husband? I do. Milana's the type of friend that'll take pictures of you knee-deep in a hit, uh, fish hatchery while she's clearly terrified of getting in trouble. And Garen, on the other hand, totally convinces you that he's sharing a popsicle with a dog named Coors. Both have a sense of humor that just warms your heart or freezes your hands if you believe that Garen, that the Chevy love never gets stuck, which it does, by the way. But if there's one memory, they could almost bring a tear to your eye. It's a time that Garen went head over heels on a four-wheeler. Too bad the Dixie horn wasn't playing from an 80s style square body. That would have almost summed up our half red neckline. <laughs> One last message for these two, Mr. and Mrs. Aguado. For Garen, patience is a virtue. And, in, and it is okay to be less stubborn and more understanding. With time, I believe you'll be a master of both. And for new name, Miss Guado, you have to be twice as stubborn to keep up with him. So you gotta work on that so you can allow fair and healthy communication to do its part. Now these are words of heart and not spite. Now everyone, can you please raise a glass and look towards these two? As you can see, we're all right here, and we'll always be Bay Bombs. Your rings represent this promise that you guys have made to one another. The never-ending circle is a symbol of infinite and unbreakable love. Garen, take this ring, place it on Milana's finger and repeat after me. Okay. Milana? Milana? I give you this ring as a symbol of the promise I made to you today. I give you this ring as a symbol of the promise I made to you today. Milana, take this ring, place it on Garen's finger and repeat after me. Garen? Garen? I give you this ring as a symbol of the promise I made to you today. I give you this ring as a symbol of the promise I made to you today. Having pledged your love and promise to one another today in front of all of your friends and family, and by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> you may now kiss your bride. <laughs>
uh, my advice to both of you guys would be be true to each other, share your joys and your burdens, love much, laugh much, be each other's best friend. Always speak well of each other, even in private. And when things don't go well, forgive as often as is required. They say you don't marry the person you can live with, you marry the person you can't live without. So today, your friends and family surround you as you begin something new and marvelous. Remember your promises and be sure to keep them. So I raise my glass to my daughter, Milana and Garen. I wish you much love and happiness in your new life together. Before I finish, I'd like you guys to face each other. You're now looking in to the eyes of the person who is statistically most likely to murder you. <laughs> to the bride and groom. <laughs>